Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to look at Sequitor from AudioFire. It's a really cool uh, step sequencer engine inside of Contact. Let's check it out. All right, guys. So in this video, we're going to mostly look at the snapshots of Sequitor. So um, there's a really nice in-depth tutorial online from the guys at AudioFire and also Make sure you guys read the manual. It's a really complex instrument, and essentially it is a step sequencer, arpeggiator, um, effect sequencer inside of Contact. So you can load up a ton of different snapshots here for a nice place to get started. But also remember, you can go in. <clears throat> excuse me. You can go into each one and change the sounds, and I'll show you that real quick, just by clicking there. So you click in this and it shows you different sounds you can choose from. And then right here there's, you know, eight different pre-programmed sequences right there um, for you to choose from. You can also really go in and make your own custom sequences as you can see the notes that are going to be triggered are listed out there and you can enable or disable the steps and add different effects to it and everything so there's really a lot you can do with it but mostly in this video I'm going to focus on the snapshots um, so, sort of like an unboxing and really right out of the gate what you can achieve with this instrument and then know that if you really want to dive deep you can and there's a ton of possibilities um, but you'll get a feel for what it can do in this video So I was just holding down two keys at the same time. So we'll go in and look at the different categories we have here. So here's just the factory. Um, no, you can get a lot of different sounds from like really synthesized electronic to also more organic plucked instruments and stuff like that. So we'll check a, a few of them out here in this video today. Also, this will sync to your DAW's tempo, so no matter what you set that at, uh, this will sync to it. So right now I'm just in like the electronic category, so we'll go into guitars and organic and see uh, the variety of sounds you can get. So here 
um, I'm using the guitar so over here it's FX synth but you can also just go in and for instance change it the second sound to a, a synth and it will sound like this So then we'll try one of the rhythms here. So really this kind of shows you the variety of sounds you can get because if you want like a percussive loop, um, you can totally go in and make your own uh, sort of hi-hat percussive loops and everything, but you also have a lot of you know tonal playable instruments. Let's go on and check out the different expansions. This one has bass, keys, and pads. Expansion 3 here has um, some ethnic instruments down here, electronic, arpeggios, ambience. They all have different categories in the different expansions. Going on to the final expansion.
hear that one as I hold down the sequence, it plays a different ending um, for each one. It, each repeat, it plays a slightly different ending uh, for A and B there. You can hear it. Um, let's go check out a couple more of these presets. So mostly this video has just been showing you the different snapshots. Now, as you can tell, this is a deep and complex instrument and really the best way to learn it would be check out the manual that comes with it and also the really nice tutorial video from Audiofire, which is a lot more in depth and they will be able to help you more with that because they created it and they know exactly how everything works. But essentially, this is a step sequencer inside a contact which is very powerful it does effects it does arpeggios it does sequences and you can select from all of the different sound sources inside of this instrument so you have electronic sounds um you know nice kind of uh aggressive synthy type sounds some nice ambient pad synths um you have plucked guitars ethnic instruments banjos um, and a lot of you know really creative stuff that you can do with it and the snapshots like I was just showing you there's quite a few of them so it's a really nice way to get started but then you can go in and change the, the uh, different sound sources for each one you change the sequence itself um, there's eight different programmable sequences here that you can choose from so essentially within this instrument there's a ton that you can do and then create your own sequences so that by essentially you can just hold down one key or just put one long key inside of your piano roll here and it will play the sequence that you've already created it's a lot of fun and there's a ton of depth to it so it's impossible to cover everything here but i just wanted to go through the snapshots show you the basic functions of it and how it works and um, yeah, so thanks so much for hanging out with me for this one. This is Sequitor from Audiofire. Um, if you guys want to support our channel, please like the video. Uh, leave us some comments. I always read all your comments. I try to reply to every single one. And remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when our next deals are up and when we have videos just like this showing you what you guys can do with them, kind of informal, having fun with it. And also when we go live and have our giveaways, so maybe you could win something just like this. So thanks so much for hanging out with me, guys. It's been Brian with Audio Plugin Deals. I will see you next time.